In this video, we are going to review how to draw a figure from a front point of view. We drew figures last year in second grade, and we used a lot of ovals and circles, and we're going to do the same thing here with a slightly different twist. So we are going to put our head here. Now remember, the larger you make your head, the larger your figure, the smaller you make your head, the smaller your figure. So you don't want to make your head too huge, you don't want to make your head too small. Um, feel free to pause the video as you go uh, if you need to, and I'm just going to kind of keep moving along. So we have the head, it's about oval, it's an oval shape, and I would say it's about a wide, as wide as a quarter, but a little bit taller, uh, longer. I'm going to add a curve on either side for the neck. Now when we were in second grade, I taught you to do a large kind of skinny oval for the shoulders. This time, we're just going to kind of put a line across. And if you remember, we talked about how many heads tall our torso was. And if you're remembering how many heads tall our torso was, and the number you're coming up with is two, you're correct. So I'm going to take the measurement of my head, and I'm going to move it down so that I have it twice, and I'm going to put a li little line at the bottom. Last year, when second grade, we talked about this being a large watermelon, like a family-sized watermelon. And instead of drawing that large oval, we're just going to kind of create kind of like a torso. So our person's going to look a little bit more robotic, but we're not going to have as many ovals and circles in here as before. Our waist, which is right here, our hips are going to be kind of like a shoebox shape. Okay, so the waist is coming down here, right there, and then our shoebox shape for the hips. Now, if you also remember, the waist to the top of the head is shorter than the waist to the bottom of the feet. So I'm hoping I didn't make my head too big for this, but I'm going to measure here the head to the waist. Notice my thumb is starting at the waist. And when I bring my hand down and I try not to move these two fingers, my this top finger is going to be, be replaced where my thumb is. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring this down. Ooh, I'm going to make it. And so my feet actually are going to be kind of towards the bottom right here on my paper because I'm going to add a couple inches because I want this space in here to be longer than this space up here. So we want this space to be longer than up here. When we talked about the knees last year, we talked about the knees being in the middle. So from the waist to the bottom of our feet, our knees are in the middle. So I'm going to make a little um, line here, dividing this space in half, and I'm going to put two circles. And the reason I'm putting two circles is because these are where my knees are going to be. And then I'm going to add my legs. Our thighs are wider and they taper down. Tapering means that it's coming down, kind of like this right here. This is a taper where it's getting smaller. That's called tapering. So I'm going to start here on the outside edge and I'm going to bring this down. What I want you to notice is that the thigh is wider here and it's getting narrow here. And notice that inside the legs, between the legs, is an upside down triangle. It should not go over like a square. So it's an upside, upside down triangle coming down like this. I'm going to continue the same length that I have here. I'm going to continue that length. I'm going to kind of keep going narrow and I'm going to add my ankle kind of to the bottom. So there's my my ankle and then my foot is going to be kind of a rounded triangle. I always tend to refer to this as kind of like a guitar pick, something like that. And then we're ready for the arms. We're going to do two different types of arms. We're going to put an arm that's coming down to the side and an arm that's bending, kind of waving hello. And again, we bend at the shoulders. So I'm going to put two circles here. A lot of times last year, a lot of you made a mistake um, and we were correcting, you were adding your arms attaching to your torso here. Your arms come from your shoulder. So by putting two circles here, we know the arms are going to come from here. If you were to stand up right now and put your hands down the side of your body and you're standing nice and tall, your elbows would come down to your waist and your fingertips would come down to mid-thigh. So this is going to come down here, and again, your upper arm tapers a little bit. Here's my elbow kind of coming in at my waist area. My 
forearm, that's this part of the arm right here, my forearm coming down, I can make a wrist. And hands are really difficult to draw. Um, drawing hands is really something you do more in high school, college. I mean, you can certainly try, but I would stick with a little, um, a little mitten. Um, which is which works out great this upper arm actually is looking a little bit longer so I could have probably stretched this out just a little bit more because this looks like it's way longer than it maybe should be so maybe this is I'm gonna bring it down just a just a little bit more and maybe that's kind of more of that mid thigh so that might be more in proportion when my other arm comes in I am going to bring this out I want to kind of keep this the same so whatever distance I have here I want to try and keep the same distance to the other side whatever I have here same distance I know I'm kind of so I'm not tapering down there and I should be and then here's my wrist and again my hand so I'm waving hello if you're wanting your hand to look like it's on your hip then this would come down here and then your other hand, your, your arm would bend in and maybe you have a, a thumb kind of going behind your body with your, your um, fingers on top of your, your waist, kind of with a hand on a hip. So these are some just different action poses. If you wanted a leg to be bent out to the side, you would just go in, you would bend the leg out here and then come back here and then your foot would probably have to be higher up because it's bent further away from the bottom. So I'm hoping that you can um, see that. I'm hoping I drew that dark enough for you here. I think it's probably not dark enough here. Um, just to kind of give you kind of an idea um, of kind of what you could, could do. So that is um, drawing with a front view figure, basic proportion and um, have fun and hopefully you're going to follow these steps and end up with a, a nice figure in proportion. Remember to make your waist to the bottom of your feet longer than the waist to the top of your head. Have fun.